Hi hey guys, doing? I'm Travis K with uh, Gamebird Foul. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and our website at GameBirdFowl.com. This is Tanner with uh, Chasing Chickens on Instagram. Uh, doing a little unboxing today. Um, this last week or two weeks ago, I purchased um, a little giant incubator, just uh, trying to save some money and do some simple things. Unfortunately, I wasn't 100% uh, happy with. The inconsistencies of the temperature, I got impatient and went out and splurged and got um, a full blown 1502 Sportsman. Um, so we're going to check that out today, see what they sent us in the box, and I uh, hope you enjoy. The instructions that came with it told us to turn on its side gently just so we can pull the incubator out. Alright, so we got an instruction manual that comes with it. Uh, nice glass see through. We're going to take off the, the silver screws that are here on the front and on the side of the incubator in order to get access to it. And they lock it down so that it doesn't get damaged. So it comes with little feet that you can set the incubator on so it kind of elevates it just a little bit so the door doesn't drag. We're going to go ahead and put those on right now. Just as a double sided, you know, kind of 3M style tape on the back. You just kind of place them where you want them. I think we want it back just a smidge. Comes with the hatch tray down here in the bottom, as well as the the water tray. It's got kind of the the same thing you would see in like an evaporative cooler. Just helps the water um, just kind of evaporate and give good humidity throughout. So you've got the turners built in here and the aluminum uh, right here, and then uh, this looks like kind of. Uh, some type of plastic like uh, you'd see in like a, a milk crate or something like that kind of material. Alright, so here we have the digital readouts. Um, able to plug it in right here, plug it into any outlet. You can do the switches to actually kick it on. See it's kicking on. When you kick it on, you can hear the fan start to turn, which is a good sign. Um, right now it's say it's 74 degrees. And, and changing. So it should be pretty simple. Just be able to hold down the temperature you want to go to. You can go to manual or auto mode and uh, set the optimal temperature for the eggs that you're, put, the eggs that you're placing. Alright, so it's been a few hours since we set the incubator up. Uh, temperature acclimated quickly. I was able to put another gauge on there just to double check things. Uh, my uh, gauge is reading exactly what the readout here says, which is exciting. Um, hoping we can set eggs here in the next week or so, still waiting for the trays to come. Uh, one thing that probably would have been nice is if they would have set the trays with uh, the set itself, but they're coming separately. So I'll get those next week and hopefully we can set some eggs. Our uh, Gamble's quail has been laying the last week and a half, so we're excited to put some of those eggs in there and get them going. Uh, if you have any questions for me, please leave any comments down below. And uh, looking forward to our next opportunity to check out a new product. Thanks.